Hey folks, it's me, Miriam. I'm back. Glad to be so. I am going to talk about something that was brought to my attention, um, and that is karma. Ooh, very, very loaded topic. I know you all know about it, but and it's not something that can be discussed in just one segment. However, we'll touch up on the basics. Karma is um, has originated from Hinduism and Buddhism. It's basically the concept of actions, that whatever action you take has a consequence. So you can call it law of cause and effect, if you will. And basically, uh, well, they get into a little more detail regarding reincarnation. Um, for example, like whatever you do now will affect your next life or what you did before in your past life is now having an effect on this one. However, we're not going to get into that. That depends on your relief system and, you know, it's just going to make things a little complicated. So we'll just talk about the basics, which is the cause and effect. So basically what it does, and this is important to remember, is that it makes you responsible for your actions. If you are responsible for your own actions, guess what you can do? Well, hello, Maggie. Um, you can also uh, have an effect on what you do with your karma, right? With your actions. Uh, let's say you did something kind of unfair to someone, and after that you realized perhaps you were better than that, you didn't really need to do that, and you feel like maybe you... Um, affected your karma in a negative way, there is a way around it. There is a way you can fix it. Uh, wait for it. It is unconditional love. I know that may not be something that you were expecting to hear. However, by that I mean is letting go of the attachment that you had to the results of something. By disconnecting that energy that that you had put into the result of getting back at someone, if you can let go of that and you realize that, you know, you're only bothering yourself and it's not making a difference, then you can let go of that negative karma. You say that, okay, I'm better than this. I didn't really need to do this. And that disconnects that from it. So... You being responsible for your actions means you have control over what you do, what you think, and what results you get. Remember that. We're all responsible for our own actions. Nobody does anything to you. You make that happen, okay? Whether it's positive or whether it's negative. So stop blaming other people for what happens to you. No, we each have responsibility for what we do in this lifetime and therefore we get to choose how we react to it. All that being said, I wish you well and if you like this video, as always, please share it with your friends, leave me comments, I still welcome those, I always welcome those and I will see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!